Spacewalkers egressed from the airlock. As you can see, Swanson uh, just beginning to translate outside the large di diameter of that Quest airlock. Akaba also now is first minutes of uh, EVA activity. You also heard some congratulatory words from Ricky Arnold. He and Akaba were both selected in the astronaut class of 2004, and both former educators and now both spacewalkers. Now that the two are out of the airlock, their first task will be to get two portable, portable foot restraints. They'll attach those uh, to their suits using the body restraint tethers and then make their way to the port or the left truss. That'll take some time to translate down that uh, truss segment. They're going to exactly the opposite end of the truss that has been the uh, focus of most of the mission's activities thus far. Meanwhile, on the ground, the space station flight control room has uh, made all the necessary inhibits and configurations to the truss and the solar array wings, locking that solar alpha rotary joint uh, for the EVA activity. We're 20 minutes into the EVA, and about an hour is slated just for the egress and the setup and translation to the work site. Once they're in position on that port six truss, they'll begin with the. Uh, you pop your head back up in that airlock and have a look at your SCU pouch. Yeah, I see it. Uh, Tony is uh, concerned that it uh, might have uh, come off the attachment point. We might need to stick it under a bungee or something just to hold on to it. Yeah, it looks like it's off the attachment. Uh, uh, you're saying the cover and everything. That's what uh, he was seeing through the, uh, the hatch window. Copy. And Ricky, handrail for my safety tether, please. All right, Swanee, it's uh, 3652. Okay. And uh, you're going to keep it out of Joe's translation path, and it's going to be just nature of that FHRC. And I've got a measure of thanks. And I can see you. All right. 
Mike, Ray, can you tell me on the big loop? Can I talk to Joe for a sec? Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Hey, Joe, also the tether is just over there to your up and right, and it is, uh, I think it's loose as a free flyer. Oh, no, the other end is good. Okay, you're set. So I don't, don't worry about the metal piece. I don't think you're going to fix that right now. Yeah, I'm going to try to hook this on. Yeah, the other one's good. Okay. Hey, uh, Ricky, thanks. I'm done. Okay, Tony, the airlock looks good to you. Hey, Perp. Okay, hey, so Joe, thanks, and uh, you can go ahead and back on out. This is a look at the helmet camera of Joe Acaba now in uh, 20 minutes into his first EVA. As you've heard, a couple of calls there from his supporting crewmates, Ricky Arnold serving as the EV officer and pilot Tony Antonelli, uh, just with a, a few checks for the airlock, but otherwise the EVA underway, and the two making their way to the port truss where they will loosen bolts on batteries. Joe, uh, Swanee's heading out to uh, lab with seven, and you're going to make your way up. 